Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Laura Noland coming to you from Virtual PTC 21. Joining me today is Mizu, Chief Marketing Officer at Colt Technology Services, the industry leading network and voice services provider. Mizu, welcome to JSA TV. Hi, Laura. Thanks for having me. Let's get started. Just recently, back in November, Colt unveiled a new organizational structure and three-year strategy. So what does that mean for the company and your customers? Sure. Um, before I dive into the actual strategy itself, um, let me explain a little bit about how we came up with the strategy, because I thought it was um, quite unique in a way. So um, our CEO, Kerry Gilda, um, she was appointed as a CEO um, in May last year. And the first question that she asked us um, was uh, very different. Um, it was a very simple question, but very powerful. So um, that was a question. Um, she asked, what kind of company um, do you want Colt to become in three to five years? And um, she actually asked us what sort of company we want to call to be. And um, that's how the strategy um, discussion actually started. And um, we came up with a 10 work streams to think through our strategy. And um, I was um, fortunate enough to um, call on one of our strategy um, work streams, which was about network expansion and network op optimization. So if you think from a, um, a very traditional marketing role, um, it was um, usually involved when we identify market dynamics or um, go to market strategy for specific services or products that we are launching in a market, et cetera. But um, it was more to do with where would, do we want to expand our network in as a next step? And um, where do we want actually, how can we optimize our connectivity to serve the bigger needs and demands from our customers? And that actually made us think through um, what uh, we want to achieve as a company. And um, I think um, it was it was very different approach to, I've been in this industry for almost about 20 years now, but uh, it was very um, different approach to um, any other um, sort of approach I've seen. So um, we started to look into it and it was completely cross-functional. So um, we had to break the silo and um, speak to, for example, um, technology um, department and um, operation department to understand um, what we can do to expand our business to specific areas and um, talk to sales team and to come up with our strategy in that specific work stream. And Kerry consolidated this view and basically came up with our strategy, um, which addresses four areas um, um, that we think um, is the right way to go. So um, it's really built by all of us and we have special special attachment to this strategy because um, it's not something that are given um, from top end or it's not really given by consulting firm that usually comes in when we come up with a strategy as well. So um, that's... Um, that's what I wanted to share because I thought it was completely unique. And um, when it comes to the actual strategy, um, I mentioned about four areas, but um, one of them is really about um, becoming enterprise enabler. Um, a lot of companies go through um, a digital transformation because the environment that they're in has changed quite a bit from last year um, due to the pandemic as well. Um, According to Gartner, there are about 60% of entire workforce um, actually working from home. And it was actually expected to reduce by the end of last year. But um, I think um, due to the second and third wave of, um, of, of COVID, I, I don't think um, that has actually reduced um, across the world as well. So um, we had to really think through our strategy to see through how we can actually um, help enterprise organization to, um, to basically adapt to this new world. And hence, we decided to actually look into, for example, services like SD1, um, which allows um, those enterprise firms to design the network infrastructure to be able to accommodate um, different type of demands from the home um, employees who are working from home 
or um, people that uh, need to use, for example, um, corporate telephone number in order to communicate with their customers as well. So um, we've taken that into consideration and focusing on, for example, services like SD1 or cloud-based solutions. And there's a lot of thoughtfulness and, and strategy and planning that went into uh, the brand. So hot off the presses, fast forward. <laughs> <laughs> the new brand just live a few days ago. So as the CMO, what does the updated branding really say uh, then about the company's trajectory? Sure. Um, our brand actually um, had changed a couple of times um, previously. Um, we started our business in 1992 and um, Colt actually stands for City of London Telecom. So um, we started our business from um, our headquarters in London, and then we refreshed our brand to be called Cold Technology Services um, in 2015. Oh, sorry, 2010. So um, basically, that was the time we realized it's it's more than telco service that we are providing. So um, we renamed ourselves as a technology service provider, and also um, we've. Um, stayed away from mentioning about London, one single location, because um, we expanded our business into Europe at that time. And then um, we actually expanded our business to, um, to globally um, about 2015. So um, it was about six years ago when um, we started to use the previous plan. And we basically developed ourselves as a telco service provider, um, who which covers 20 different countries and also 52 metro cities locations. And um, we wanted to actually embrace uh, the, the facts of um, us supporting enterprise companies going through um, all the digital transformation that they are going through as well. And we wanted to actually embrace the sustainability as well as um, the diversity of the, um, of, of the company as well. As you can probably see, um, our CEO is, is a female and um, more than 50% of our um, senior executives are actually female as well. And um, maybe as you can see, um, I, I'm not um, originally from UK, I'm, I'm from Asia and that represents really nice coverage of many different regions as well. And we wanted to actually come up with a brand that can represent um, that diversity and um, sustainability that uh, we are building to give back to the society and um, care about the environment that we are in while we um, emphasize on supporting our customers as, as a technology service provider. Well, you did touch on Mizu just a few moments ago, SD-WAN. So last month, your team launched SD-WAN 2.0. Why is this one better, a better SD-WAN experience? Right. Um, SD-1 previously or originally was really about optimizing um, all the routes um, on the MPLS network or IP-based network. But um, with the fact that uh, employees are now connecting from home and um, the flexibility required for network connectivity has shifted um, completely. So um, we wanted to make sure that uh, we invest on the services that support um, our customers to go through this journey. And um, so SD1 2.0, um, with SD1 uh, 2.0, we can actually support um, those requirements um, of connecting to um, the employees working from home and also addressing some security concerns and needs um, out of uh, this platform as well. And that's how it evolved from the previous state to 2.0. So you mentioned uh, Colt CEO Carrie Gilder. She just spoke on the writing the tidal wave of new realities panel about the changes 2020 brought and, and then what's in store for 2021. And by the way, PTC attendees who couldn't view the session, you might want to go back and check out the recording for sure. So Mizu, what would you say then, just building onto that, what would you say about what's ahead for the industry this year? Absolutely. One of the key um, factors that we are looking at is the shift to cloud. Um, we have been focusing in this area, but um, I think the movement will continue to grow. And especially um, with the, all the digital transformation that um, all the companies are um, going through now, um, they will actually 
move more applications to the cloud. And hence, um, a lot of enterprise firms will actually want to have end-to-end -end, um, true experience um, by use of cloud services and also connectivity to support that as well. Wonderful. We learn. We want to learn more all about Colt and, and what you're working on and the new brand and so much more new products. So where can our viewers go for more information to get an update? That's a very good question. Um, usually um, we say come and visit our web website, but um, in this occasion, I actually recommend um, everyone to actually subscribe to our page on LinkedIn, because um, if it's website, you, you're going to have to keep coming back in. But um, if you subscribe, subscribe to our channel, you actually get um, automated notification um, based on your preferences as well. So um, I would actually recommend you to take a look at our LinkedIn channel. There you have it. Go check him out on LinkedIn. Well, thank you so much for your time, Mizu. It's been a pleasure and come back anytime. Thank you so much for having me, Laura. It was, um, it was really good pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. Happy networking.